and I think uh, that attending this wedding class workshop will enhance our skills. It will make the sums which sometimes seem scary to us easier to do, and I think it is also beneficial for us. Isn't it very beautiful to listen to all the friends who are coming up here to share with you what they have in their mind regarding uh, attending this workshop, isn't it? We all come with a lot of expectations, a lot of hope in our mind and unless we share it, we really don't know what our friend has in his or her mind. Even of us, we are here with some expectation of the other to learn this, learn that. And once these people are coming here enough to speak to you, it's all very clear. And many of uh, them, they were sharing uh, from here and there with me. They were telling me that uh, the same thing what the speaker has said a while ago, the same thing I'm having in my mind. So, so, so many points, you know, also match with your thoughts. Isn't it? Isn't it yes or no? Yes, yes ma'am, no ma'am? Yes, ma Not so loud and clear. Yes, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, but not like that. Not like that. And what did I say that when the guests will come, what will you do? We will. Very good. Very good. And you will be at your best. Once again, yes, so whether you know what to do and stay in the same order throughout, you know, okay, put your hands down. Calculations, okay, in a very short and excitement way, okay. So you are going to learn today how to do that. So this is called basic mathematics. From where has it been taken? What is the base of basic mathematics? Yes, Vedas, okay, consists of sixteen sutras. So we will be now getting enriched by Mr. Gaurav Tekhtiwal uh, as well as his wife uh, his wife Anushri Tekhtiwal okay so wish ma'am as well as sir with round of applause Sir, is the founder president of the Vedic Maths Forum India, an educator he has been imparting high-speed Vedic mental mathematics skills over the past 15 years across the globe. He inspires and informs people, helping them to realize their true potential by introducing them to the world's fastest mental math system called Vedic Mathematics. Sir is the author of Speed Map and his complete DVD set on the topic is popular among students, academicians worldwide. Through television programs, DVD books, workshops and seminars, Sir has taken the Vedic Map system to over four. So, we move on to our ancient mathematics system of calculating maths. Okay? Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. It's a privilege to be here at your school today and talking to you about the concept of basic mathematics. Have you heard of this before? Have you heard of basic math before? What is it? Who can tell me what basic math is? Anybody? Easy way to calculate math. Yes, at the back. Yes. 
Can't take it, Naga. Yes, very good, very good. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to share with you a video, and then we we'll start off with the calculations. All right? Sounds good, right? So we'll continue with basic maths, okay? And I'll show you the video later. So basic maths was founded by an ancient saint. His name was Tithaji. He wrote a book. It was called Vedic Mathematics. It was published in the year 1960 and uh, he gave 16 formulas, okay, 16 word formulas by which we can calculate very, very quickly and very, very efficiently. Let's say calculation method. How to multiply by 11? Or say, we have to multiply 32 with 11. How do we do this? Very simple and straightforward. What we do, we split 3 and 2, right? Show it step 1, okay? What is 3 plus 2? 5. So you take 5, put it in the middle, and your answer becomes 352. Easy? Come on, take it down. If you have pencil paper, take that and note down. All of you. Very simple and easy it is. You split 3, you split 2, there is a space between, just add 3 plus 2 and put it in the middle. That gives you your answer of 352. Come on, all of you take that down. Now. What is 45 times 11? Give us another pack. 495. Very good. That's the right answer. The second one. 75 times 11. 795? No. 825. Very good. The answer is 825. I tell you how. See, what is 7 plus 5? 12. It looks like this. If you put 12 in the middle, it looks like this. So that 1 you have is extra. Add 1 to 7. How much is 7 plus 1? 8. So the answer becomes? 825. Come on, take that down, all of you. Please take that down, all of you. Alright? Okay, I'll wait, I'll wait. No problem. We'll wait. Share with you a 
a new method to do the sum. And after that, we want to find a big number. Okay, tell me, is A near to 10? Is A above 10 or below 10? By how much? Two. So write minus 2 there. Like that. Eight is near to ten. Eight is above ten or below ten? Below ten. By how much? Two. So write minus two there. What is the right for seven? Very good. Write minus three there. Alright? Okay, now I'll give you two rules. Take on rule number one. Rule number one. We subtract crosswise. We subtract crosswise. Okay, then that hold on, we subtract crosswise. I'll tell you what that means in a minute. We subtract crosswise. Okay, and number two, rule number two is we multiply vertically. Take it down, all of you, please take this down. We subtract crosswise, rule number one, and rule number two, we multiply Vertically. Okay, so what is the cross? Who can tell me what is the cross? Yes, it's like this. So we can do 8 minus 3. How much is 8 minus 3? 5. You can also do 7 minus 2, which will also give you 5. You can check that. That's the first part of your answer. 5. And then you multiply vertically. So what do you multiply vertically? 3 and 2. Okay, what is 3 times 2? Very good. So answer 56. A new way to do it. The same rules you'll apply to do bigger number. Okay? What is the first rule? You subtract crosswise. Wonderful. And what is the second rule you multiply? Vertically. Exactly. Okay. Try this one, please. All of you, 8 times 5. Please try it. Okay. So, for 8, what do we write? Minus? Has everybody written that? Yes, no. So for 8, we have minus 2. And for 5, what do we have? Minus 5. Exactly. And then what do we do? Yes. Excellent. Very right. good. So 8 minus 5 gives you how much? 3. three. Put 3 there, no problem. And 5 times 2 is how much? 10. You all know this. So that 1 is extra there, right? It gets added to 3. 3 plus 1 is? And 0 comes down for 10. Remember, this is very important. 8 and 5 are nearest to which number? Because nearest to 10, right? 10 has how many zeros? 1. So on the right hand side, there should be one digit. This extra one gets added to 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Answer 4. Try the next sound. A little bigger sound. Try it. 100. Very good. Please try it. All of you. This is near to 100. Come to that, don't worry. Please try this. 99 into 97 is nearest to which number? 100. Exactly. 
No, no. Remember the rule which I gave you, 100 hands, how many zeros? Everybody, 100 hands, how many zeros? So on the right hand side, there should be how many digits? Two digits. So we do it like this, see. Okay, 99 less than 100 by how much? Right? Minus zero 01, okay? And for 97 less than 100 by how much? Zero 03. Zero 03. And then what do we do? We subtract cross values. So 99 minus 3 is how much? 6. And zero 03 multiplied with zero 01 is Remember, 100 has two zeros, so on the right hand side, which is here, there should be two digits. 3, 1, the 3 is already there, but you put one zero before that, because there should be two digits. So your answer becomes 9603. Try the next one, please. Try this one. 98 into 97. I'll help you, don't worry. I'll help you. 98 multiplied with 97. We do it very just time. Very good. Yes, yes. Very good. Yes on the back. Yes. It is nine five zero six. Very good. How much time will it take you? One minute. Less than one minute. Less than one minute. Do you think this will help you? Okay, what's your answer here, this side? What's your answer? How many of us got 9506? Raise hands, please. Oh, a lot of you. Everybody in chat. Hands down. Anybody who did oh. Sorry. Anybody who did not understand how to do 9506? Raise hands, I'll help you. Okay. Now see here, on the board. All of you who just now raise your hand, see here. I will say it again. 98 is there to 100? Is it above 100 or less than 100? Less than 100 to how much? 2. So write minus 0. Two. And 97 we write minus 0. And now what we do? 98 minus 3 which gives you 95. And 0, 3 you multiply with 0, 2. That is how much? Zero six. That's your answer. Easy. That's this one. Don't get scared. This work the base. One thousand. Very good. Come on, try. All of you must try. Does it matter if you get it wrong? It's absolutely perfect. Please try this. The base is 1000. Yes. Very good. That's the right answer. 993012. Let's see how. Who's going to tell me how to solve this? Come. Minus zero zero four no not zero four this is zero zero four zero zero four from nine nine seven and zero zero three from nine nine six very so good it will come nine nine three and it will also come nine nine three so and four times three is 12. It will be 993012. Wonderful. That is the right answer. Amazing. Good. Thank okay. You. Let's move on. Has everybody understood this? Yes. Anybody who did not understand, I'll help you. Yes. Did not understand? Okay. What stand? What is the base? 
996 is nearest to which number? 1000, right? So 96 is above 1000 or less than 1000? How much? 4, right? Minus 0, 4. And similarly for minus 7, we have minus 7, 0, 3. Then subtract cross size, minus 6, minus 0, 3 is how much? Very good. And 0, 0, 3 multiplied with 0, 0, 4, how much is that? That's your answer. Very good. That's it. Understood? Okay. I'm giving you four problems. Let's do it. There's four problems on the board. Let's try and do it. Please try that, all of you. 91. All of you must try this. Base is 100. Remember, there will be a carryover in the first sum. Please try the first one. This can be 100, 100 because 88 is near to 100. Let's take one number, 100 only. 88 will be minus 12. 91 will be minus 9. Good. Now try it. For 25 into 98, the base is 100 only. Yes. Right, that's the right answer. A double zero A is the right answer for the first one. 88 into 91. Remember, there will be a carryover. So, answer becomes A double zero A. Which are the other ones? Second one, which is 25 into 98, answer is 2, 4, 5, All of you please do it. Please try. We'll wait for you. It'll be 9 there. Getting it here. What's your answer? Yes, that's right. Okay, yes. That's right. Alright, let's discuss answers. First sum, 88 into 91. What's your answer? A, 0, 0, 8. That's the first answer. This one, 25 into 98. What's your answer? 2, 4. See, 25 into 98, the base is 100. So 25 on the right hand side will be minus 75. It will be minus 75 and minus 0. And then you add the carry over to 23. Answer will be 2, 4, 5, 0. This one. Please check. And that one. Triple 9 into 997. 
Not five. And 16 is more than by how much? Six, so plus six. Plus what is that? 15 plus six is 21. And six times five is? 30. Three gets added to 21, it becomes two perfect. Please try these four sounds, very simple it is. Okay. 
Okay, hands down. Now see, look here. I have one zero four, and on top there is a two. It means that that number is multiplied with itself. This means it's a square number. So one zero four on top is a two. It means that the sum is one zero four multiplied with one zero four. Okay. Now see, one zero five on top is a two. It means one zero five multiplied with one zero. Come on, give me the answer. Of the box, you see there's a clue there. On top there's a clue. 
like you have 1, and then 1 minus 3 division, 6 times, and 2 division, right? Do you not see that? Now see, you have to fill up the squares with the numbers 1, 2, or 3, with no overlapping. I repeat, you have to fill up the numbers, fill up the boxes with the numbers 1, 2, or 3, with no overlapping. Let's start. Okay, I tell you, I tell you, just one. On the first yellow box, what do we have? So if you draw it in your books, that box will have the figure 1. Because there is no other sign in it. Okay? Come on, quickly copy this down and then I will help you. Please copy this down and I will help you how to solve this. No problem. We will do this together. Just copy this down. I will give you a minute. Please copy this down. It's just like Sudoku. 
will take you two minutes and you will get it. Come on, please try one of you. See, the idea is to fill up the numbers 1, 2 or 3. How will you fill it up? You have hints given on top. First hint is 1. You put 1 down. Is this clear? Yes, no. Now it's 6 and 2. So you can either have 3 and 2 or 2 and 3. Accordingly, you get the other numbers. Don't worry so much about it. Get to the back. I'm playing a little louder. Two divided by one. Two 
Who do I know? Where's the homage? I'm not paying you the number, so give your answer. Right? Just apply logic to it, very simple. Okay, I'll give you a solution now. Who, who has got a solution with that? Follow. And give us the reason to answer.
the book. You have seen the book, you have seen the pamphlet that has been given to you. Okay? If you want to buy those books, you are going to uh, bring rupees 199 and submit to your teachers. Okay? Submit to your class teachers. You will get the book autographed by Sir. Okay? He is the author, he is going to autograph the book and he will give you. How many of you want the book? It's only rupees 199. If you have brought the money, we give it to your class teacher, she will keep the record. Is that clear? We'll give you the book by this week. Is this clear? Thank you. 